Hello and welcome back to the channel and what's caught my eyes in the classifiers today. Well, we're all familiar with the RELP 5 Turbo, but today we're going to be looking at the rarer, bigger brother, the 21 Turbo. Introduced in 1988, uh, it remained in production until approximately 1993. Uh, it had a 1995 cc turbocharged petrol engine said to produce 175 brake horsepower. Uh, it had a claimed top speed in excess of 140 miles an hour and a 0 to 60 time of 6.5 seconds. Now that's fast now, but in 1988 it was incredible. I mean, it beat the Maestro Turbo by 0 0.2 seconds. This car is a Phase 1, uh, a Phase 2 model being introduced in 1990, and it was called the Quadra because it was now a four-wheel drive car. Now, this car's a 1989 car, and what you have to remember is that when this car was new, Renault were at the forefront of turbo technology, and it was the height of the turbo era. Um, if you recall, in 1989, Sir Frank Williams secured a deal with Renault to supply engines for his Formula One team, uh, which proved to be a very successful partnership. And it lasted until 1997 uh, when Renault departed F1. Uh, nothing seemed to be able to challenge them, uh, much like today's Red Bull team. Um, and at the time, uh, personally, I felt it made me take Renault more seriously than I ever had done before. And I think some of the cachet of their F1 success has rubbed off on them. So there we are, a 1989 Renault 21 Turbo. It looks rather nice, doesn't it? Um, quite a wolf in sheep's clothing. And um, to look at it, it doesn't give too much of the game away um, as to how much performance it actually does have. Um, quite understated. And these were very well respected cars. Um, and uh, really something special. And that looks like a typically French thing with its yellow spotlights. I quite like the alloy wheels. I think they're quite smart. And these are very rare cars now. I mean, I uh, I honestly can't remember the last time I saw one. Um, and I think, you know, if you had one of these, the chances of seeing another one on the road are extremely slim. Um, the majority of the ones that I used to see tended to be in um, either a black or a dark grey metallic. Um, but I think this one's called Tungsten. So it makes it just that little bit more special, a bit more different. Um, and as you can see on the back, it's sporting a badge which says ABS. And as I've said before, um, this was a point in time when uh, ABS brakes were pretty much still in their infancy. Um, so it was sporting all the latest technology. Yeah, and you just look at the exhausts, and the exhausts just say how potent it actually is and how much power it's got. I think that's very nice and quite special. And it's got a sunroof as well. Let's have a look at the interior. There we go. Now it's sporting sumptuous leather seats. Uh, these were quite posh um, and uh, very much like the um, Renault 25s as well. Um, top of the range stuff. And it's got a five speed manual gearbox. They also made them with an automatic gearbox, I believe. I think it was possibly a four speed automatic. Um, but uh, yeah, very posh interiors. And unlike a lot of modern cars, um, you've got a decent amount of legroom in the back. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, um, I might be all right in the front and I've got plenty of room, but I want my passengers in the back to be comfortable and have plenty of legroom. And I think that's what a lot of modern cars lack nowadays. But that looks to have a decent amount of legroom.
Yeah, that's very good. Right, let's go and have a look at the advert itself. Nineteen eighty nine F Reg Renault twenty one turbo French Cosworth, yep, phase one appreciating asset, yeah. Tungsten grey. Most recent MOT test was on the eleventh of March twenty four. No advisories. Phase one, very, very rare car, yeah, I agree entirely. Thirteen currently taxed, hundred and thirty two are so on. I didn't think there'd be that man, that many to be honest. Um Period Reynolds radio cassette. New head gasket, new cam belt and tensioner, spark plugs, handbrake cables, front discs, pads, calipers, rear brakes and wheel bearings. Undergone a major engine recommissioned by a Renault 21 turbo expert. Yeah, well, I think that's a very nice and a quite a special car. I like that and as I say very rare and if you missed it on um, the eBay advert it's got a corresponding advert on car and classic so I've just had a quick look through my um, old car magazines and uh, very quickly I found this one so this is in September 1989 and what have we got let's have a look and see There we go, at the Frankfurt Motor Show, uh, it was unveiling of the 21 Turbo Quadra. And it tells us that apparently the four-wheel drive system is lifted from the um, Espace. Um, but the uh, prop shaft, opposed to being carbon fibre, is being replaced by a steel one. So next I have a quick glance at Performance Car Magazine from September 1990 and it features a, an Alpine Le Mans. There we go, an article on the 21 Turbo Quadra. Apparently it cost £20,785 which was just over £2,000 more than the two-wheel drive one and it was 5000 cheaper than a Sierra Cosworth apparently. Right, well I'm going to say once again um, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, thanks for watching and until next time take care.